Right now at Kohl's, it's time to give the perfect gift. So let him be a kid again with a Propel drone, just $99.99. Make her sparkle in Swarovski rings, only $21.99 each. And help them save the galaxy. A Star Wars Mr. Potato Head set is just $29.99. At Kohl's, you'll save a little more with an extra 15% off or 20% off when you spend $100 or more. And earn a little more with Kohl's cash, so you can give a little more this holiday. Kohl's. Select styles offer valid 12-11 through 12-24. Some exclusions apply. See store Kohl's.com for details. Blog Talk Radio. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Awakening with Katina Love and segment on Inspiration Sunday. Today is October 22nd, 2016. I am your host, your self-love, purpose, and abundance coach. The Awakening with Katina Love is a go-to resource for self-help, healing, and spiritual growth. It is a catalyst to empowerment and self-reliance. Mm-hmm. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest on the show to share your journey to higher consciousness and promote your life's purpose, I would love to speak with you. I can be reached at Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A dot love, L-O-V-E, at mail dot com, or you can reach out to me on Facebook. The topic of today's show is Energize Your Love, and our special guest is Sean Grant. Sean's website is www.seangrantgrant.com. Sean is an author and motivational speaker who specializes in prosperity and relationships. He lives to share his message of love to millions of people around the world. He is certified in the law of attraction and neuro-linguistic programming. Sean guides people in truly finding practical ways to live the lives they ultimately dream about. Sean, thanks so much for being a guest today. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to start out by talking about self-love and how important that is um, in life. And can you just kind of share, like, how you arrived to loving yourself more and how important that is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so growing up, my childhood was, was uh, I guess you could say, along the lines of a bit challenging in a sense of it wasn't very many role models or male figures within my life to show me what it was mm-hmm. to be the type of man that I wanted to be. And so um, I can remember my mom, one of the first books she ever bought me was uh, The Power of Positive Thinking from Norman Vincent Peale, uh, mm-hmm. who was uh, thought leaders within, uh, like, the self-help genre and whatnot. And so uh, I got that book, and this had to be, I guess this is about a little over 15, 16 years ago, and I started reading it, and it just struck a chord. It resonated so deeply that I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I really need to start um, implementing these practices. And so, Mm -hmm. you know, as I started to do it, I saw a little change, but I didn't see as much change as I would like to have seen at the time. And so, I, you know, I'm a big, firm believer in prayer and meditation. You know, I was really Mm -hmm. heavy into that time. And I just started asking, you know, I started asking God, I'm like, you know, so what's going wrong here? I'm I'm thinking positively. I'm not, Mm -hmm. you know, seeing the results that I want to see. What's, what's happening? And so that's when I got onto the topic of self love. Self love. I said, you know, you mm-hmm. don't love yourself enough. And to me, that was just yeah. like, okay, uh, hey, yes, I do. But then, <laughs> you know, I started to get more and more insight and revelation as to, you know, in order to see your self love in action, you have to look at your life and to see if mm-hmm. your life is congruent with the things that you want for yourself. And if it's not then you're lacking in self-love. And self-love is just basically Mm -hmm. complete allowance and acceptance for who you are and knowing that you're good Mm -hmm. enough and you deserve everything, all the great things that the world has to offer. Absolutely, absolutely. And that can be a challenge for a lot of people, um, getting to that place. You know, we all have various backgrounds and different experiences Mm -hmm. growing up, and we're told different things as children, Um, you know, all the way up to adolescent to adulthood. So if someone's mm-hmm. just starting out with, you know, learning to love themselves, what are a few things that you can tell them, like, they can imp- implement right away 
to help them to love themselves more? Well, the first and most important, especially when I'm working with a, a client, that's along the lines of what you just explained. Um, mm-hmm. First, you got to start with forgiveness, you know, because I think oftentimes we as human beings get so caught up in our past and what didn't happen yeah. and what happened, and it's hard for us to let go. So the first thing that has to happen has to be self-forgiveness. And mm-hmm. you just got to gotta get past that point no matter what it is. You know, you're not the same person you were when it happened. You're a new person, right. a person every day. And you, it's possible for you to come alive and move forward and experience the life that you want. So to answer your question, not to be too long-winded, self-forgiveness yeah. has to be the first thing that we, we touch on. That is so important because that is part of healing also, to heal, you mm-hmm. know, whatever happens. It's so important to to. Uh, to have that self-forgiveness Absolutely, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So with this self-love Journey that you're on With you arriving to that place Of loving yourself unconditionally How has this impacted Your relationship with your wife Well So I would have to say Our relationships are A reflection Of who we are And our dominant mm-hmm. beliefs And that means that's everything that we carry around subconsciously that affects our behavior. I feel like the better that I've been able to become within the process of loving myself, the Mm -hmm. more love that I receive from my wife, you know? Um, Yeah. Yeah. For the longest time, I just, I, I didn't necessarily see myself getting the love that I wanted and I would always attract a certain type of person into my life. And I always had mm-hmm. to think, like, what's wrong? What was going wrong with this whole situation? Mm-hmm. And it just, I wasn't accepting of myself. I wasn't allowing myself to make mistakes and come to the uh, conclusion that, you know, it's all right. Nobody's perfect. You don't have to be perfect. The great right. thing about love is that it's imperfect. And so right. that has impacted my relationship because it's helped us to be more vulnerable and to be more honest and upfront and just love each other as we are. I think that's the most beautiful mm-hmm. thing you can find in any relationship, platonic or romantic, when people accept you mm-hmm. for you no matter what it is. That's, you know, when mm-hmm. you start to hit the light of That's so important. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So can you share some tips on what others can do to prepare themselves for their ideal mate? Absolutely. So, I think the first thing you have to do is clearing your energy, and we touched on a little bit of that mm-hmm. with beginning the forgiveness road because we've all had relationships. We've all had bad relationships. We've all had to us that can always dictate our journey to finding that ideal mate. So mm-hmm. start with forgiveness first. And another thing that I stress that's really important is separate yourself from the people that you've been with in the past and people that you're getting ready to get involved with that aren't, that aren't in relation or correlation, rather, to the person mm-hmm. that you want to be with. And what I mean by that is, mm-hmm. you know, it benefits you to say no to dates if you know that there's a chance that this person you're about to, like, get involved with is not on the level of the person you're looking for. Truth of the matter yeah. is... You feel it when you meet that person. You feel it on a deeper yeah. level. You almost feel like you know that person, and there's something that's drawing you to them. Um, mm-hmm. And so it's important to recognize that uh, from the get-go as well, but also getting right back to it, find ways to love yourself. Find ways to just completely endow yourself with the, one, with the, the kind of love you would want to receive from somebody else. I think that's the biggest, Mm -hmm. biggest thing that people have to know and realize when it comes down to attracting that soulmate. Because once again, it's it's just that person's just a reflection of you, and you're here to learn, to grow, but ultimately to love each other through everything that you face. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I met you on Facebook, and 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I've kind of been following you and Sarah, and it, I am just mm-hmm. amazed of the energy and the chemistry that you guys have together. I mean, it's like you, you guys are always happy, you're traveling, you're doing what you love, and your ministries, your you know, your life's purpose are sort of together, and I just think that that is just truly amazing to Thank find you. that person who is on that Thank same you. level with you, who's in alignment with your purpose, and mm-hmm. you guys are just working together and just, and just doing it. And it's just, I just think that's beautiful. It's, it's really beautiful. Thank and you very it's, much. It's truly amazing. <laughs> Thank You're you. Welcome. No, I greatly appreciate it, as does she. So it just try to take what you learn and then, you know, share it, give back. And uh, one more thing I wanted to add into there, patience is also a big mm-hmm. key as well because, you know, I grew up in church and a lot of times, you know, they always used to say, uh, it may not come when you want it, but it's always on time. And that's the yep. truth of the matter. So, <laughs> the truth is God, the universe, you know, whoever it is you believe in won't bring something into your life that's truly meant to stay into your life unless he feels like you're ready. Because what will happen is, is if right. you're not compatible with it, you'll lose it. So, You've got to be yeah, patient to yeah. know that he's waiting for that moment to where it, 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 it can arrive in your life and you can embrace it completely. Absolutely. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So someone, just say if they're already in a relationship, they're in their ideal relationship already, they've already mm-hmm. found their soulmate, how can they enhance their relationship? I feel like the way that they can enhance their relationship to allow it to continue to grow over time is allow that person, one, to become your best friend. Because, mm-hmm. you know, after a while, I'm not saying the attraction wears off, but it's not as fresh as it is when you start out. And mm-hmm. that leads to the point of knowing that what I like to do is I fall in love every single day. There's something yeah. that I need to pick uh, that I need to choose one of her many wonderful qualities, but I need to choose a new quality mm-hmm. every single day to, to that makes me want to feel like I did when, you know, I first, when we first got together and when we first started dating and stuff like that. And it's, it's all mm-hmm. it is is just a matter of being creative and watching whatever it is you're focusing on come alive and you'd be amazed at what you feel when you start to do that. Like it puts you in a completely loving, um, just treasuring of your, mm-hmm. your your mate. It just puts you in that vibration, mm-hmm. and all it does is just build on itself. So I think that's probably the biggest thing that you can do. And then more importantly, like, like we talked about once again, just accepting that person completely, you know. I can't stress yeah. imperfection yeah. and accepting that enough because – that's that's what relationships are. It's just a matter yeah. of, of learning, learning about the, yeah. the the species of human beings, and learning how to be, come together and then be better from those things that aren't as I guess you could say Hollywoodish, pretty, and and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So you know you got to <laughs> be able to accept and allow more so, so you guys can continue to grow through that marriage. That is really awesome. Can we talk about law of attraction a little bit? Like, did you, like, uh, attract your mate to you? Did you, like, I mean, I know everything we uh, experienced, we attracted it to us, but, like, right. did you do any practices? Did you meditate? Did you put an intention out? Like, how did you actually draw your mate to you? Or did oh, it yeah. just happen? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can give you the, the, the short form story of this. So okay. <laughs> it, it's kinda it's kinda what I what I talked about. So a year before I met Sarah, I decided to stop dating, stop being with anyone completely because mm-hmm. the energy had mm-hmm. to be clear. And just to give you a little background on me, I was always attracting emotionally distant women. Okay? So mm-hmm. women that would get where the relationship would get to a certain point, they would just completely disappear. And mm-hmm. the thing was, once I took a step back and realized that, okay, what's, what's the problem here? Why am I attracting the same person within, mm-hmm. with, with, in different skin? So 
Yeah, and I yeah, right. That out, <laughs> yeah, I had to solve those limiting <laughs> beliefs because, you know, with the law of attraction, it's kind of fit this in. You know, the universe works on vibration. So yeah. we can say affirmations and stuff till we're blue in the face. They help, but you have to have the feeling behind them. And when you have the right mm-hmm. feeling, the emotional um, frequency behind it, then you'll start to see things manifest and synchronize up. So for me, that entire year dealt with focusing on how I wanted my ideal mate to be. And so mm-hmm. what I did, and I took it to the extreme, I stopped going to places that I was when I was a single man. I started to do stuff that right. I would do as if I was in a relationship, you know, and, and what okay. I was doing was creating that space to mm-hmm. come in. Now it was difficult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, it, was, <laughs> it was a hard process because I'm like, when God, when, when, you know, and, I, and all, all I right. ever heard in my meditation and my prayer was be patient, you know, just be patient. I'm okay. like, okay, I'm patient, but it's like, no, you're not patient. <laughs> you're, you're trying to rush it. Just, <laughs> right. You know, cause that's, it's part of being human. You want it and you want it now, you know. Um, right, but right. What I learned, what I learned throughout that process was that when it came to me, it would be perfect. It would be just right for me at the place where I was evolving at the time. And so mm-hmm. to just kind of more be more specific with your question, what I did, and this is a concept I teach, I just kind of wrote down 50 things of what I wanted mm-hmm. within – that made. And once mm-hmm. I had those things down, then I looked at it, I said, okay, these are the things that I have to become, but not only become, these are the things that I have to resonate. Now I'm going to attract my perfect partner. And that entire year mm-hmm. was dedicated to resonating those things. And by the time, like once I felt like I embodied all those qualities, it was around a time mm-hmm. where I kind of knew at a deeper level that it was going to start to like manifest itself. And wow. before you know it, <laughs> it, it <laughs> happened, and it, was, it happened to all my specifications, and it, wow. was, it was amazing, you know, and then I knew what was actually going on, and, and sure enough, it was at the right time. It wasn't at the time that I necessarily wanted, but it was at the perfect <laughs> time when it unfolded. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So let me ask you, did, you. Did, how did you know, like, did you know her right when you saw her? Did you have to talk to her for a while? Did you have to go out on a date? Did you have anybody show up before her that was a fake? Or yeah. you were like, no, that's not it. I, I got to keep going. Or, <laughs> like, how did, you, how did you know that she was the one? Well, for me, a big thing, because at the time I was, I was really, really involved with my faith. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mm-hmm. a certain but I'm more, I, I try to strive after a more spiritual relationship with God as opposed yeah. to doing it, you know, an organized religion. But um, mm-hmm. one thing I pray for so much and still to this day is discernment because sometimes there's stuff that we can't tell on the surface that we need to know from a spiritual level that mm-hmm. will help to know who to get involved with and who not to. And Absolutely. They, they were they were other women that came into the the picture, but it was never mm-hmm. it never really got to anything other than a conversation, maybe a phone call. Because having that discernment allowed me to yeah. see it, see red flags, or see if you know yeah. what this isn't the person that I'm looking for. I can cut this loose, you know. Yeah. Whereas the problem mm-hmm. I had before was okay. Let me fix this woman. I know she's got some things that. That are that are like right. broken on her, or she's wounded. Let me see if I can fix her and be, you know, like this superhero within a relationship. But then it becomes overwhelming mm-hmm. if the person is not mm-hmm. emotionally mature to handle that type of love. They just run away. Right. So, right. Right. Yeah. Right. I've experienced that. Mm-hmm. They'll just run like, yeah. oh, this is too much. This is new. I've never experienced yeah. this. <laughs> but it, <laughs> it um, <laughs> just happened. That like when we met, I I knew it. I just it's it's wow. it's like you know you know it's like when that newborn yeah. baby comes and it's just been born and looks up at his mom and it just knows Aww. that this is the person that wow. they're supposed to be with. And it's not a feeling That's you can really amazing. describe, but it's a knowing. Yeah. 
we've all experienced this in our life at one time or another, whatever yeah. it is. Um, but you just, you know, and you understand and you know yeah. that it's like as scary as it is sometimes because you're releasing all your baggage and you're moving to a higher level, you know that mm-hmm. the risk is so worth the reward. Wow, that's amazing. That That's truly amazing. That's that's very helpful. That's very helpful. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. So can you share um, with us about your the services that you offer, how you work with people and relationships and otherwise? Yeah. So I, um, I conduct one-on-one coaching with individuals in regards to, uh, like you mentioned in the beginning, prosperity, relationships. Um, I call my life coaching transformative coaching because mm-hmm. my objective is to always leave them better than when we first met and just to open their eyes mm-hmm. to new ways of looking at life, open their eyes to new ways of self-love. Um, and that mm-hmm. kind of correlates to the relationship training because immediately with the questionnaire and with the first um, conversation that I'll have with the client, I can see, you know, where we need to go, what we're working with, and what kind of belief that they need to kind of shake free before they decide to get into a relationship. So um, mm-hmm. for me, that's mm-hmm. one-on-one coaching, whether it's in person, if you live in the Los Angeles area, uh, we can do it over the phone. We can also do it over Skype if people, you know, mm-hmm. kind of want a visual of who they're working with. But um, that's a kind of along the lines of what I'm doing other than speaking at different different types of organizations and stuff. And uh, also writing, just any way that I feel like I can help people to be better and inspire them to want to live their best lives, I'm trying to tap into it. <laughs> That's amazing. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank so how, did you how did you want to become a life coach? How did you want to – what inspired you to want to do that? You know, just getting back to, to – I had a really challenging time um, mm-hmm. growing up. You know, my early years were really, really, and I, I say challenging. That's just a, <laughs> a word. Just a, right. That's a nice concept. way of saying it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so I like to say challenging because it, it makes me feel better vibrationally about all the stuff I overcame to get to where I am. Yeah. But after all those experiences that I had, I just got to a point where, and then having such a close relationship with God, Mm-hmm. I have to give back. And if I can create short time wow. for other people not to make the same mistakes I did, then I want to be mm-hmm. I want to be able to do that. And that's when you know wow. self love just kind of wells yeah. up within you because you want to give back. You're overflowing to a point to where you want to share with people to help yeah. them not to make the same mistakes you did. Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Can you, you share? You have a book. You have a book. Mm -hmm. So can you share with us a little bit about your book and what inspired you to write that? Same thing? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yep. You know, kind of, but, you know. It's It's okay. We we spend a lot of time in the bookstores looking at books on um, Amazon and, you know, we're, me and my wife, that is, we're really like avid readers. And so, you know, Mm -hmm. it was a time we were just in there and I'm just like, you know what, I could do this, even if it's just something just to crank out, you know, and mm-hmm. I always wanted to do it, but I just never brought myself until I finally said, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to write it for myself first, and then if it can help people, then I'll yeah. we'll go from there. So that kind of put me over the hump to help me to write it, and my wife helped mm-hmm. me format it. Just, I mean, did some amazing stuff to it, and it just became okay. this labor of love that was – something that will continue to be here even when I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what it's about, it's called Prosperity Secrets, not just in the case of finances and helping you to improve your finances, but more or less helping you to understand that when all the other areas come together, it's when we can be in a state to prepare ourselves to make more money and to give more and to just be more resourceful, you know, understanding Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. we have access to so much stuff. When we change our perspective on how we look at it, we realize that's Mm -hmm. an opportunity for us to use not only to help ourselves, but to help others also. Oh, awesome. That's great. 
And how can your, if someone wants to uh, utilize your services, how can they reach you and how can your book be purchased? Uh, so my book can be purchased at my website at seangrant.com, S-H-A-U-N-G-R-A-N-T.com under um, Prosperity is the, uh, the link that you'll click on. And if somebody wanted to work with me, you can connect with me on Facebook through Messenger, through, actually through Katina as well. Uh, and, mm-hmm. Or you can send me an email at S-H-A-U-N-G-0-4 at gmail.com, and we could set up a call or a time to meet if you live in my area, whatever it may be. Those are the, the, the best ways to get in contact with me. Awesome. Great. This has been a great show. So thank you for being a hey. guest today. Um, are there any last thoughts that you want to share? Um, yeah, there's a couple here for their listening who is in a place where they feel like giving up and they feel like life can never change and, and it just it looks bleak, always know mm-hmm. that if you have something you love and you allow that something to help you to grow into a person you can love, then mm-hmm. life is only beginning. We all have humble starts. We all have, you know, humble beginnings. We all face obstacles but those things are only meant to make our armor stronger and help us to rise higher and transform our lives into something that not even we could have imagined. The beauty comes down to just always knowing as long as you live in the moment, as long as you stay thankful for what you have and what's coming, everything will work out perfectly. Awesome. Thank you so much. For being a guest today, Thank Sean. You. It's been very enlightening, very encouraging, very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you. And audience, thank you. Thank you so much for being a guest on the show today. Namaste. Thank you so much for listening to the Awakenings Katina Live. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be hard. Like early 90s heavy metal hard. I'm yelling and screaming and I'm loud. Roar. Geico makes it easy. You can review and update your policy or report a claim on Geico.com or the Geico mobile app. Because shouldn't we all have a little less stress in our lives? I'm not even upset about anything. Right now at Kohl's, it's time to give the perfect gift. So let him be a kid again with a Propel drone, just $99.99. Make her sparkle in Swarovski rings, only $21.99 each. And help them save the galaxy. A Star Wars Mr. Potato Head set is just $29.99. At Kohl's, you'll save a little more with an extra 15% off or 20% off when you spend $100 or more. And earn a little more with Kohl's cash, so you can give a little more this holiday. Kohl's. Select styles offer valid 1211 through 1224. Some exclusions apply. See store at Kohl's.com for details.